Welcome to day 26, uh, I mean, day 36 of our reading. Today, we are reading from Deuteronomy chapter 23 to chapter 27. Chapter 23, Deuteronomy, take a Bible and read along with me. He who is emasculated by crushing or mutilation shall not enter the assembly of the Lord. One of, illegit one of illegitimate birth shall not enter the assembly of the Lord. Even to the tenth generation, none of his descendants shall enter the assembly of the Lord. An Ammonite or Moabite shall not enter the assembly of the Lord. Even to the tenth generation, none of his descendants shall enter the assembly of the Lord forever. Because they did not meet you with bread and water on the road when you came out of Egypt. And because they hired against you Balaam, the son of Boer, from Petor of, Mo of Mesopotamia, to curse you. Nevertheless, the Lord your God will not listen to Balaam, but the Lord your God turned the curse into a blessing for you, because the Lord your God loves you. You shall not seek their peace, nor their prosperity all your days forever. You shall not abhor an Edomite, for he is your brother. You shall not abhor an Egyptian, because you are an alien in his land. The children of the third generation born to them may enter the assembly of the Lord. When the army goes out against your enemies, then keep yourself from every wicked thing, if there is any man among you who becomes unclean by some occurrence in the night, then he shall go outside the camp. He shall not come inside the camp, but sh but it shall be when evening comes that he shall wash him that he shall wash with water, and when the sun sets, he may come into the camp. Also, you you shall have a place outside the camp where you may go out, and you shall have an imp implement among your equipment. And when you sit down outside, you shall dig with it and turn and cover your reviews. For the Lord your God work, works in the midst of your camp to deliver you and give your enemies over you, and give your enemies over to you. Therefore your camp shall be holy, that he may see no unclean thing among you and turn away from you. You shall not give back to his master, the slave who has escaped from his master to you. He may dwell with you in your midst, in the place which he chooses within one of your gates. Where it seems best to him, you shall not oppress him. There shall be no ritual allot of the daughter as of Israel, or a perverted one of the sons of Israel. You shall not bring the wages of the allot, or the price of the dog, to the house of the Lord your God for any vowed offering. For both of these are an abomination to the Lord your God. You shall not charge interest to your brother, interest on money, or food, or anything that is lent out at interest. To a foreigner you may charge interest, but to your brother you shall not charge interest, that the Lord your God may bless you in all in all to which you set your hand in the land which you are entering to possess. When you make a vow to the Lord your God, you shall not delay to pay it, for the Lord your God will surely require it of you, and it will be sin to you. But if you abstain from vowing, it shall not be sin to you. That which has gone from your lips, you shall keep and perform. For you voluntarily, for you voluntarily vowed to the Lord your God that you have promised what you have promised with your mouth. When you come into your neighbor's vineyard, you may eat your field of grapes. You may eat your field of grapes at your pleasure, but you shall not put any in your container. When you come into your neighbor's standing grain, you may pluck the heads of your with your hand, but you shall not use a sickle or your neighbor's standing grain. Chapter 24. When a man takes a wife and marries her, and it happens that she finds no favor in his eyes because he has found some uncleanness in her, and he writes her a certificate of divorce, puts it in her hand, and sends her out of the house. When she has departed from his house and goes and becomes another man's wife, if the latter husband detests her and writes her a certificate of divorce, puts it in her hand, and sends her out of his house, or if the latter husband dies, who took her as his wife, then her former husband who divorced her must not take her back to be his wife after she, had, after she has been defiled. For that is an abomination before the Lord, and shall not bring sin on the land which the Lord your God is giving you as an inheritance. When a man has taken a new wife, he shall not go out to war or be charged with any business. He shall be free, <laughs> he shall be free at home one year and bring happiness to his wife whom he has taken. No man shall take the lower or the upper millstone in pledge. For it takes one's living in pledge. If a man is found kidnapping any of his brethren of the children of Israel and mistreats him or sells him, then the kidnapper shall die, and you shall put away the evil from among you. Take it in an outbreak of leprosy that you carefully observe and do according to all that the priests, the Levites, shall teach you, just as I commanded them. 
So you shall be careful to do. Remember what the Lord your God did to Miriam on the way when you came out of Egypt. When you lend your brother anything, you shall not go into his house to get his pledge. You shall stand outside, and the man to whom you lend shall bring the pledge out to you. And if the man is poor, you shall not keep his pledge overnight. You shall, you shall in case return the pledge to him again when the sun goes down, that he may sleep in his own garment and bless you. And it shall be righteous, and it shall be righteousness to you before the Lord your God. You shall not oppress a hired servant who is poor and, in, and needy. Whether one of your brethren or one of the aliens who is in your land within your gates, each day you shall give him his wages, and not let the sun go down on it, for he is poor, and has set his heart on it, lest he cry out against you to the Lord, and it be seen to you. Fathers shall not be put to death for their children, nor shall children be put to death for their fathers. A person shall be put to death for his own sin. You shall not pervert justice due to you shall not pervert justice due to the stranger or the fatherless, nor take a widow's garment as a pledge, but you shall remember that you were a slave in Egypt, and the Lord your God redeemed you from there. Therefore I am therefore I command you to do this thing. When you reap your harvest in your field, and forget a sheep in the field, you shall not go back to get it. It shall be for the stranger, the fatherless, and the widow, that the Lord your God may bless you in all the work of your hands. When you beat your olive trees, you shall not go over the bows again. It shall be for the stranger, the fatherless, and the widow. When you gather the grapes of your vineyard, you shall not glean it afterward. It shall be for the stranger, the fatherless, and the widow, and you shall remember that you were a slave in the land of Egypt. Therefore I command you to do this thing. Chapter 25. If there is a dispute between men, and they come to court, that the judges may judge them, and they justify the righteous, and condemn the wicked, then it shall be, if the wicked man deserves to be beaten, that the judge will cause him to lie down and be beaten in his presence according to his guilt, with a certain number of blows, forty blows he may give him, and no more, lest he should exceed this, and beat him with, a, with many blows above this, and your brother be humiliated in your sight. You shall not muzzle an ox while he treads out the grain. If brothers dwell together, and one of them dies and has no son, the widow of the dead man shall not be married to a stranger outside the family. Her husband's brother shall go into her, take her as his wife, and perform the duty of a husband's brother to her. And it shall be that the firstborn son which she bears will succeed the name of his dead brother, that his name may not be blotted out of Israel. But if the man does not want to take his brother's wife, then let his brother's wife they let his brother's wife go up to the gate to the elders and say, My husband's brother, my husband's brother refuses to raise up a name to his brother in Israel. He will not perform the duty of my husband's brother. Then the elders of his city shall call him and speak to him. But if he stands firm and says, I do not want to take her, then his brother's wife shall come to him in the presence of the elders, remove his sandal from his foot, spit in his face, and answer and say, So shall it be done to the man who will not build up his brother's house, and his name shall be called in Israel, the house of him who had his sandal removed. If two men fight together, and the wife of one draws near to rescue her husband from the hand of one attacking him, and puts out her hand and seizes him by the genitals, then you shall cut off her hand, your eye shall not pity her. You shall not have in your bag different weights, a heavy and a light. You shall not have in your house Different measures, a large and a small. You shall have a perfect and just weight, a perfect and just measure, that your Lord, that your days may be lengthened in the land which the Lord your God has given you. For all who do such things, for all who do such things, wait, can't say this here. All who behave unrighteously are an abomination to the Lord your God. Remember what Amalek did to you on the way as we are coming out of Egypt. How he met you. On the way and attacked your rear, your rear, and attacked your rear ranks. All the stragglers at your rear, when you were tired and weary, and did not fear God. Therefore, it shall be when the Lord your God has given you rest from your enemies all around in the land which the Lord your God has given you to possess as an inheritance, that we blot out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. You shall not forget. Chapter 26 And it shall be when you come into the land which the Lord your God is giving you as an inheritance, and you possess it and dwell in it, that you shall take some of the first of all the produce of the ground which you shall bring from your land, that the Lord your God 
is giving you and put it in a basket and go to the place where the Lord your God chooses to make his name abide. And you shall go to the and shall go to the one who is priest in those days and say to him, I, have de I declare today to the Lord your God that I, I have come to the country which the Lord swore to our fathers to give us. Then the priest shall take the basket out of your hand and set it down before the altar of the Lord your God. And you shall answer and say before the Lord your God, My father was a Syrian about to perish, and he went down to Egypt and dwelt there. Few number, and there, and there he became a nation, great, mighty, and populous. But the Egyptians mistreated us, afflicted us, and laid hard bondage on us. Then he cried out to the Lord God of our fathers, and the Lord heard our voice and looked on our affliction and our labor and our oppression. So the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand and with an outstretched arm, with great terror and with signs and wonders. He has brought us to this place and has given us this land, a land flowing with milk and honey. And now, behold, I have brought the first fruit of the land which you, O Lord, has given me. Then you shall set it before the Lord your God and worship before the Lord your God. So you shall rejoice in every good thing which the Lord your God has given to you and your house, you and the Levites and the stranger who is among you. When you have finished laying aside all the tithes of your increase in the third year, the year of tithing, and have given it to the Levites, the stranger, the fatherless, and the widow, so that they may eat within your gates and be filled, then you shall say before the Lord your God, I have removed the holy tithes from my house, and also have given them to the Levites, the stranger, the fatherless, and the widow, according to all your commandments which you have commanded me. I have not transgressed your commandments, nor have I forgotten them. I have not eaten any of it when in mourning, nor have I removed any of it for an unclean use, nor given any of it for the dead. I have obeyed the voice of the Lord my God, and I have done according to all that you have commanded me. Look down from your holy, holy habitation from heaven, and bless your people, Israel, and the land which you have given us, just as you saw to our Father, as a land flowing with milk and honey. This day the Lord your God commands you to to observe these statutes and judgments. Therefore, you shall be careful to observe them with all your heart and with all your soul. Today, you have proclaimed the Lord to be your God, and that and that you will walk in his ways and keep his statutes, his commandments, and his judgments, and that you will obey his voice. Also, today, the Lord has proclaimed, has proclaimed you to be his special people, just as he promised you that you should keep all his commandments, and that he will set you high above all nations which he has made in praise, in name, and in honor, and that you may be a holy people to the Lord your God, just as he has spoken. Now Moses, with the elders of Israel, chapter 27 now, commanded the people, saying, Keep all the commandments which I command you today, and it shall be on the day when you cross over the Jordan to the land which the Lord your God has given you, that you shall set up for yourselves large stones, and whitewash them with lime. You shall write on them all the words of the law, of this law, when you have crossed over, that you may enter the land which the Lord your God has given you, a land flowing with milk and honey, just as the Lord God of your fathers promised you. Therefore it shall be, when you have crossed over the Jordan, that on Mount Ebal you shall, you shall set up these stones, which I command you today, and you shall whitewash them with lime, and where you shall build an altar, and there you shall build an altar to the Lord your God, an altar of stones. You shall not use an iron tool on them. You shall build with old stones the altar of the Lord your God, and offer burnt offerings on it to the Lord your God. You shall offer peace offerings, and shall eat there, and rejoice before the Lord your God, and shall write very plainly on the stones all the words of this law. Then Moses and the priests, the Levites, spoke to all Israel, saying, Take it and listen, O Israel, this day you have become the people of the Lord your God. Therefore you shall obey the voice of the Lord your God, and observe his commandments, and the statutes which I command you today. And Moses commanded the people on the same day, saying, This shall stand on Mount Gerizim to bless the people. Then you have, when you have crossed over the Jordan, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Joseph, and Benjamin, and this shall stand on Mount Ebal to cause Reuben, Gad, Asher, Zebulon, Dan, and Naphtali. And the Levites shall speak with a loud voice, and say to all the men of Israel, Cursed is the one who makes a carved or molded image, an abomination to the Lord, the work of the hands of the craftsman, and set it up in secret. And all the people shall answer and say, Amen. Cursed is the one who treats his father or his mother with contempt. And all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is the one who moves, who moves his neighbor's landmark. And all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is the one who makes the blind to wander off the road. And all the people shall say, Amen. Cost is the one 
who perverts the justice due to the stranger, the fatherless and widow, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is the one who lies with his father's wife, because he has uncovered his father's bed, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is the one who lies with any kind of animal, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is the one who lies with his sister, the daughter of his father, or the daughter of his mother, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is the one who lies with his mother-in-law, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is the one who attacks his neighbor secretly, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is the one who takes a bribe to slay an innocent person, and all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed is the one who does not confirm all the words of this law by observing them, and all the people shall say, Amen. Now the end of today's video. Thank you very much for watching this, and I'll see you in the next video.